So I didn't know if that meant something else. I'm a Leo. Why do I wear two different socks? When did I wear... To be fair, I do. I have one odd pair of socks. You wouldn't know this because... Surely you wouldn't know this because they're all plain, plain white, but the logo underneath on the bottom of the sock is... I've got one purple one and one grey one. And I don't know where the other purple and the other grey one is, so I wear them together. But you wouldn't know that. Even if I wore them out with, with shoes, you wouldn't see it. They're all white except just the logo on the bottom. So what do you mean, Andrea? How do you know? No other socks of mine are odd. Literally, really, it's, it's, you, you got, you're under the pump. You're doing too many things. Like, I would only be able to go to the gym if I went, like, now. And I don't have the energy. No, I'm not generalizing. If someone's already hosting, then fair enough. You go, you sit and you eat. But I had a guy message me. I, I know he was like friends though. We've been like, we've been friends for like a fair few months now. And we know each other like closely. And he doesn't have any parents because they passed away. He's got one brother. And um, so his parents and that aren't doing anything, obviously. But I even asked him, oh yeah, what's your Christmas tree look like? Send me photos, trying to get all excited and stuff about it because he just moved into a new house. I'm like, what Christmas tree are you going with? Like, are you going to get like a, a snowy one? Are you going to get a plain one, whatever? And he's like, oh no, nah, I'm not even going to put one up. What are you, where's the joy? What makes you guys happy? Like literally nothing. You don't put lights up. You don't put trees up. You don't. And I was like, he messaged me yesterday afternoon, Christmas Eve, and was like, oh, he voice memoed me and he's like, oh, um, just thinking of you, like making sure that you're all good. And I'm, I, he knows I've got family coming. I'm busy. I've got people around me all the time, like whatever. And he's like, um, oh, you know, if, if you want me to come over with coffee later, I'll let you, I mean, let me know. Cause I will full well knowing I've told, I've told him like I'm prepping for Christmas day. I'm doing everything. So I don't have time. And then he chucks in the end. Oh, I just don't want you to be alone on Christmas Eve. And I'm like, the only reason he said that is because he doesn't want to be lonely on Christmas Eve because he knows I've got shit going on. I've got a lot going on. I've got my whole family up visiting, but he has no one. And I'm like, you could just say to me like, hey, I'm kind of lonely. If you want, I can bring coffee. We can have a chat and I can just like, if you want to keep me company. Well, and I would be like, of course, come, come. But the fact that you try and say, do you want me being lonely? No, I feel like that's a pity party for me. What the hell? Um, but I was also thinking like, do you know what though? I even woke up this morning after that conversation and I was like, how many people out there, men and women out there who are lonely today on Christmas when they could have hosted, they could have invited someone over, they could have made a plan, they could have gotten gifts for their relatives and said, hey, I've got presents. Can I come and give them or something like that? A lot of people... And I, I don't want to be sexist. It's not. It's, it's just the reality, especially men. They don't put in the effort. They don't put in the energy to be festive and fun and have a good time and be merry. They always have their... The women always do it, I think, naturally. But, um, but yeah, I don't know. No, but here's the thing, okay? He can find a way to ask. He could have just said, hey, if you're free, I can come over with coffee or whatever. It's Christmas Eve. I'd love to see you. But the fact that he tried to say, I don't want you being lonely on Christmas Eve, so let me come over so you're not alone. Like, like he's trying to do me a favor, but I full well know I'm not, I've got too much shit to do to even think about being lonely right now. And he knew that. 